What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2022 Hit Parade Baseball Autograph Limited Edition Series 11 just sold out. This is a dual case break, random teams number one. And again, guys, for 110 bucks, you get a random team in 20 boxes, two cases total. To get one of these potential bigger hits, this is kind of like the sell sheet hit. So this is hits you could uh, potentially see in our cases. Usually one of those hits in every case. I think they make a total of 10. So what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. This is about six. I either like I said, they're collages. You can only do so many. So at least a little bit of previous. But every team is represented at least once. And like I said, uh, it is a repack product from Hip Parade. Fun stuff. We do a plenty of these, as you guys know. So here we go, guys. Here's the dice roller. Here's the customer names. Tristan down to Lonnie. Bought straight up. And then D'Lo down to Steve Birch. Got those from a pack filler. And then Diamondbacks down to the Nationals. All teams in. Roll. Another 10? Okay. I guess we'll take that. So uh, four and a six. Ten times. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Tristan down to Kevin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten times. Ten times. Oh, actually, sorry, I forgot to paste that. I know we here. Oh, wait, I did paste it. Ten times. A's down to the Mets. All right, so 10, 10, 10. Tristan, you have the A's. Steve Bridge with the Phillies, as well as the Astros and Orioles. Nestor with the Royals. Jason K with the Dodgers and White Sox, as well as the Marlins. Ed, Ed P, that is. You have um, Yankees, Tristan, with the uh, Blue Jays. Steve Birch with the Guardians, as well as the Mariners. Jason with the Nationals. D Lo with the Cardinals. Steve Birch with the Rays. David H with the Rockies. Aaron Roach with the Pirates. Steve Birch with the Brewers. Lonnie, last by Mojo Tigers. David H, Braves. Brad Polly with the Yankees. Or oh, sorry, not Yankees. Why did I say Yankees? For Giants. Bohorkas, you have the Twins. Bradley with the Angels. Barry with the Red Sox. Jason with the Cubs. Steve Birch with the Padres. Jeremy Porter with the Diamondbacks. Chris Walker. Cincinnati Reds. Nestor with the Rangers. And then Kevin with the New York Mets. So, if anybody wants to make any trades, trade window will be open. If not, we're going to close it right now soon. All right, it looks like the Immaculate Filler is going to go first. We're down to three left there. And then we're down to four left on the Impeccable Filler. So first to fill, first to break. But both of those will be going next soon anyway. So three left, four left.
Well, get another team, Chad. Come on, man. You'd be a team player. Everybody got to dig deep. D low and Mac actually sells that out. So Mac is going next. And Mac is sold out first, guys. You want a cookie chat or what? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> nah, it'll sell out, man. It's always it's always some of those straggling teams, that's all. But watch those teams actually hit big. Just because they're not expensive, it doesn't mean uh it doesn't mean they're not gonna hit well, you know? Well, when you sell your burrow you won't be a poor man. Uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, I wouldn't want you to take the Astros, <laughs> but there's, uh, there's another two teams you can take. <laughs> Dude, orders are just coming in like crazy today. I just like refresh it and it's already down, there's like seven more orders. Alright, one sec guys, it's, I don't want to fall too behind. Well, I don't think it's like a, what brick is hot. It's just, uh, it's just, um, I mean, there's just so much on the website. All right, guys, well, let's just close the trade window. I mean, people are grabbing spots in number two of, of, of Finest and skipping over number one, so. I mean, that's not my call, guys. I mean, obviously, that's, that's something that the people above me made. Maybe uh, send a support message. Say, hey, I I'd buy more spots if we shipped everything. Maybe we change it. I don't know. But I don't make the calls here. Traditionally, though, I feel like finest we've always shipped out because it's not that many. It's not that many cards. At least I don't think so. But I mean, maybe this time around we're not. I don't know. <laughs> Well, Joe Christian, I think this is a perfect time, man. Send us a support message. Maybe you'll be the reason why we change it. But I'm serious though, Joe. Send us a more message. That's the way a lot of things get done, right? Send in a review, send in a complaint. <laughs> Oh, 
obviously within reason, obviously not. Don't send all these crazy messages. I think you guys should just be giving away flawless. <laughs> Alright, here we go, guys. First card Tom Glavin. 7 of 10 for the Atlanta Braves. David H. with that one. Color patch and autograph, 5 out of 25 from Diamond Icons for the St. Louis Cardinals. That is going to D low. We got Rookie Baseball Material Signatures Booklet 1099 Cal Rally for the Seattle Mariners. There you go, just to show you the booklet there. Seattle Mariners, that's Steve Birch. That's right, Joe, right? You're a Cowboys fan, right? I've been living in like kind of the Philly area. Um. I, for some reason, I, I thought I didn't read 35 minutes away. I thought you, for some reason, I read down the street. I'm like, are you renting out your parking spots for some tailgating? <laughs> but then I just read it right now. You said 35 minutes. We have a Christian Hernandez. Ooh, that's pretty nice, actually. Bowman Inception to 99. That's a PSA 10 autograph 10. Perfect card. Chicago Cubs. That is Jason W. Yeah, where is he from? Mill Millville? Or is that the school he went to? Remember what was his nickname? Millville Meteor or something like that? Just like outside of Philly. He still has a house over there, Joe? Or is that like his parents' house? And Raphael Devers, popular demand. And was that a case hit? No, that's an Aaron Judge version. Uh, that is not numbered, but it's a nice one there for the Red Sox, though. Barry Roberts. Has a bridge to mail address. I gotcha. It's a compound. Oh, yeah. For the amount of money he makes, I'm sure it's probably a lot cheaper to over there than it is here in LA. That's cool, though, man. We have Logan Webb to 99. But yeah, I'm kind of like conflicted. You know, I, I want to be the reason why I, I want the Eagles to beat the 49ers. You know, <laughs> that's how I'd want it to be. But I, I obviously you guys are just as good as us, so I mean, it's not gonna shock me if you guys beat the 49ers. Speaking of you know Cowboys, I'm saying because I don't, I, like I said, I, I don't know if uh, Purdy has faced a, a good enough defense as ours or the Cowboys defense. You know, just being honest, I'm a pretty honest Eagles fan. So you know, I'd like to <laughs> have to beat the 49ers in the next round if we make it, but I mean, it's it's whatever though. Frank Thomas. 20 out of 25. White Sox. White Sox is uh, Jason uh, K. And then, of course, I, mean, I don't know if I said Logan Webb Giants, but that's uh, Brad Polly. <sighs> Joe 
Bellinger tops now to 49. Nice. Is this all money line? I mean, I wouldn't be... Honestly, I, I, I guess Jacksonville would surprise me to beat Kansas City in Kansas City, but... I mean, the way they came back last week, I mean, obviously they're capable of scoring and catching up, but I don't know. If they get into a deep hole in Kansas City. I don't know if I see that happening. But, uh, so you're saying that you think Dak goes back to committing turnovers, Dak? Throwing, like, a pick or a fumble kind of deal? I mean, 49ers defense is not a scrubbed defense either, but... Francisco Alvarez. Bowman Chrome. PSA 9. Pick City. Yeah, I mean, I think... Obviously, beating Brady... In Tampa Bay is a bigger headline than anything, but let's just be real, right? I mean, the Bucks weren't really a good team this year, right? I mean, they made the playoffs, but that was just like all those other years where, like, the NFC least, you know, under 500 teams made the playoffs soon. So I, it's 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 like they weren't they weren't that good. So I I, I expected the Cowboys to win. Did I want them to win? Of course not. I'm Eagles fan, but I expected them to win. You know, so I think the headlines are just a lot bigger because no picks for Dak and they beat Brady at home, you know. Jordan Alvarez, that's a redemption from Optic. And uh, that is Houston going to Steve Birch. All right, next case, guys. And that's the one thing, too. I'm going to be Eagles fan, like I said. You guys know that. I'm confident they should be able to handle the Giants. You know, but again, New York media, da uh, Daniel Jones playing a really good game last week. I mean, of course, that's going to be big headlines. And now a lot of people are confident that the Giants, you know, could win. And, you know, obviously, well, anybody could win, I should say. But, I mean, I don't know. Are the Giants really going into the this round really hot? I mean... Weren't they like three and eight, three and seven? Their last like ten games, and I mean, last time I checked, the Vikings defense was like bottom of the league. So I mean, but I get it, you know. That's just the way it is. You play for New York, you don't commit as many turnovers as you have, and you know you have a better shot in people's eyes. Not saying the Eagles are uh, sure lock to win because they could lose. But I just feel like that's a huge thing people are going by. <laughs> well, what's up, Dilo? I know it's a big, big day, to, big day tomorrow. Keep me busy today, though, guys, because I'm, I'm not going to be paying attention to breaking for the next, for from 5 to 8 o'clock tomorrow. Steve Carlton. I'll probably take a two-hour lunch. <laughs> I'm thinking of coming in a little earlier tomorrow, too. Starting the day a little earlier, so that way, in case it kind of dies down during wild card or during division around, it's, we kind of had some more time. Cal Rally. So Steve Carlton, of course, that is actually Cardinals edition. I didn't even notice that. Say those Cardinals, that is uh, D Lo. And then Cal Rally, Seattle, that's another one there for Steve Birch. Johnny Goudreau, man, that, that was probably the main reason why I think a lot of people thought he would go to, like, the Devils or, per se, Philadelphia free agency, right? But chose Columbus. Mike Trout. There's the case hit for here. How about that? 29 out of 50 for the Angels Bradley. Is that you, Boggs? Yeah.
You going to the game tomorrow, D-Lo? Wow, this is a very heavy box. Like, super heavy. This has to be like a... Um, a transcendent or something. This is really heavy. Oh, wow, it has two cards. No wonder it's heavy. First one is uh, Salvador Perez for Kansas City to 10. And then it also has a Mookie Betts. One of one hip rate sketch card. Wow. That's kind of cool. I didn't know that they created their own sketch cards. That's awesome. So Dodgers, that's going to Jason K. And then uh, Kansas City Royals, that is uh, Nestor. Wow, that's cool. Nice. Enjoy, man. We got a Gabriel Moreno for Toronto. That's Tristan. have a Zach Veen, Bowman's first. Remember he was a top pick a few years ago. Colorado Rockies, that's going to David H. Oh yeah, nice. Are they, is OKC over here? Or are you guys over there? OKC the other night destroyed the Indiana Pacers. O'Neal Cruz, rookie autograph to 25. Nice one there for the Pittsburgh Pirates, and that's going to Aaron Roach. Nice. I didn't realize they're on the West Coast. Are they playing? I didn't see the schedule. I thought the Thunder weren't playing against the Lakers until like March. Unless I'm tripping out and I missed, I messed up. I want to go to Lakers uh, Thunder game. I, I don't. <laughs> I can save money and go to a Clippers game, but I don't really care for the Clippers. <laughs> Acuna, Ronald Acuna Jr. to one fifty, and that's Braves David H. All right, two more to go. Two more, two more. I seen that. It was a good game though, right? I think the Lakers had a chance to win it, right? LeBron. And I, we got another one with two cards. Brooks Robinson for Baltimore MVP signatures. Number to 10 from 2019 Optic. That's Baltimore Steve Burge. And then how about a Spencer Strider to 299 for Atlanta? David H. All right. I guess maybe they're trying to combo up some of them to make it around the price of the average box. Or either that or they messed up, right? And we're going to end it off with another Jordan Alvarez to 100. And there you go, folks. That was the brace. We got an extra couple hits, including one of those uh, cool one-on-one -on -one sketch cards that Hit Parade produced. There's the, uh, the artist right there. And it says, if you want to learn about the artist, there's a little QR code. All in all, a really nice one here. Uh, we did get that Mike Trout on this side. Um, I don't think we, I mean, we got a chaser, I think, from this side on the first case. I just don't think it was shown. It might have been that Paul Goldschmidt. I'm assuming something like that. 
But I uh, appreciate it, guys. This was uh, break number one. I don't think we have any more of this, so we'll have to just wait for another series to drop so we purchase it. So appreciate it, guys. Jaspiescasebreaks.com.